Buenos dias. Good morning. Well, I'm sitting here at the Hilton Princess in Managua. I spent one night. I went for a hyperbaric pressure treatment yesterday. It's the third one. I'm at three atmospheres. It's equivalent to 30 meters below the surface of the ocean. It doesn't feel the same as when you're in the water because it just doesn't seem the, the, the sensation of the pressure is just it's different. So when you're in a tube and it's humid and it gets a little warm, yeah, but it's still good. So anyways, this treatment is for uh, trying to get rid of some of the, the damage caused by Lyme. Uh, Lyme is an inflammatory disease. What it does is it causes your body to overreact to any infection or any, any virus or any attack and it goes into overdrive and when it does that it can and it gets to the point and it has with me as it uh, strips the I call it the insulation off the nerves the sheaths off the nerves so you have basically their wires touching in your whole body so some of it is better after uh, in the middle of September to the middle of November in uh, 2022 in Port of Art. I got lamb basic with antibiotics and nada, and stem cell transplants, and some immunoglobin, and uh, some other nasty stuff, ozone treatment. And it seems to be, you know, they said the Lyme is gone, but the Lyme has caused so much damage in the brain, it's full of these little lesions, they call them, they're the Manchester blankets, and uh, kind of messes up the wiring system, messes up the personality, messes up the sleep, that's the worst part. Being grumpy is no big deal, people are used to that with me, but anyways, I went to Costa Rica on, uh, I think the 8th of January, and I got, uh, 9th, 10th, and 11th, got uh, five injections of uh, stem cells there in San Jose. And, uh, but it takes several months to to see if that does any good. And what it does is it's good for infl inflammation. It uh, tries to repair some of the damage. And they did two injections directly into the spinal cord so where they could. Uh, could try and uh, get some uh, relief up into the brain but the thing is um, my Spanish is improving because I'm speaking Spanish every day and uh, I'm starting to think in Spanish and I'm thinking to myself and think about something uh, I'm cussing at myself I'm cussing at myself in Spanish so which is good and uh, when I'm stewing over something as I say like a of somebody or some situation I'm doing it in Spanish so it's uh, we'll see I have one more treatment today at three atmospheres and then I'm going to take a few days off and it's, today is uh, the 6th of uh, February of 2024 I'm scheduled to go home on the 15th of February to get as far as Houston, I believe I'm just going to cancel that and uh, stay another month or two. So my plan is maybe next week to go to Colombia, see how I feel, and see if I can get uh, into a chamber there. I, I know some people there in Bucaramanga, Bucaramanga and there's a direct flight from uh, Managua on Thursdays, I believe. And I'll spend a week there. Maybe I'll be able to spend... Uh, Three, three or four sessions in the hyperbaric chamber there and, and see what happens. So, anyways, we'll keep this short. It's I'm going to spend the day here in uh, Managua. Maybe it's, it's pretty warm here. It's 33, but the humidity is high. So I spent most of the afternoon in my room yesterday, and uh, then I walked down to Metro Central, and I might walk down there later today if I. I'm not uh, up to it, and I'm going to see if there's a movie I can watch there at the cinema. So, anyways, I'll keep you posted. I'm going to start doing this on uh, YouTube quite regularly. So, 
where he can kind of keep up to speed. Have a good one.